So how did I do this effect? Let me go ahead and show you. So this is what it looks like originally. Goes from the bottom all the way up to the sky like so. Now here's what I did. I applied the drop zone tracker from Pixel Films Studios. Click track editor and I tracked to the platform. You wanna do position and scale and then track forward like so. Okay, now that that's done, you wanna click export, scroll down, click use X scale data and it should look something like this. Tracked nicely. Get a title, put in what you want deadlift for this sake then select that title down here in the drop zone right there and then you want to cancel out the title if you press v on your keyboard it'll cancel out and then you want to adjust your title to where it's going through the area and the full thing is how you want it to be up top like so we'll adjust the scale here and now as you see here, if we want it to show where you don't see the text right here in this frame, and if you zoom out, you can't read the word, right? And so what I did here to avoid it is I added a keyframe over here because I knew it was gonna be sped up. And then you wanna add another keyframe to where you can actually read the word and then adjust this. So now it should look something like this. Create a new compound clip here. And the reason why I didn't speed it up beforehand and just track the text to that with the speed ramp is because it's a little bit easier for the tracker to track whenever it's slower like this. And you can adjust the speed ramp afterwards to whatever you're wanting it to look like. And so to bring that up, you click Command R to bring this, reverse the clip. So it starts from the sky instead of the ground. And so you start here, click Shift B, go where you're wanting to stop, which is right here. Click Shift B again, and then you speed ramp. And then after you're done adjusting the speed ramp, you just want to get, for me, I got this keyed out 4K clouds on Envato Elements. And you can just find something like this. And then you want to adjust it to your liking. You want to cut about right here. And then you want to add an effect that I use all the time called Add Motion from effects factory i believe if i'm wrong i'll put a text saying where it's from and then this is very important as far as the movement goes you want to change this from linear to expo you want to have the takeoff and landing both at expo which means it starts off slower speeds up and then ends slower like a speed ramp and then you want to adjust this to a comfortable spot that looks right this takes some testing to look through. And I also adjusted the ending position so it has a little bit movement on it. And you're pretty much done with the effect at this point, except for a few small tweaks that makes it just right. Add some motion blur, which I got from Ryan Nangle. You can look him up. I use his motion blur all the time. And you wanna add it over the quick movement and it makes it look a lot smoother than not having it. And so it looks something like this instead of this. See the difference? You wanna go get some sound effects, some whooshes. You can find these all over the place. I mean, I get a lot of my sound effects from Artlist, if you have that. Even in Vado Elements, you can find sound effects like this and you can use it and very helpful if you want to add those small details that make it even more professional you want to add a whoosh 
over the main movement. And I actually layered two on top of each other in order to give it more depth and just a stronger sound effect. And then I added one at the end to kind of transition into the other. I also grabbed a sound effect that I put of skydive parachute spacey glide wind loop. Anyway, it's heavy wind because I want to have that feel like you're in the sky. So I want to have that feel. And so I added that effect just to see what it sounds like beforehand transitioning into the effects I added a riser you just add the music underneath and then you put the cherry on top which is the color grade and finally you have that's how you do that effect I'll see you at the next edit